The Art of Letting Go by Nick Trenton Have you ever felt like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, holding on to things that no longer serve you? It's a common experience, and one that can leave you feeling stuck and overwhelmed. But what if you could lighten the load, find a way to let go of the past, and embrace the possibilities of the present? In this video, you will discover how it is possible to transform our lives by freeing ourselves from what we cannot control. Stay until the end of this video. We will show you 8 habits to adopt to take off towards your emotional freedom, because it is precisely when we stop holding on that we truly begin to live. Before continuing with the viewing, we ask you to support us by subscribing to the channel and activating the bell. Thank you. Embrace the change. Starting on the path of letting go is an undertaking that begins with the awareness that we are not masters of everything around us. It is a process that invites us to embrace self-awareness, gratefully welcoming the liberation that comes from leaving behind the wounds, unmet expectations, and overly rigid identities we have built around ourselves. It means learning to move forward with lightness and resilience. At the center, there is a very important idea. Understanding that we can change some things in life, while others we must accept as they are. It's like having a light that helps us see clearly what we can influence with our actions and what is out of our hands. This idea pushes us to use our energy well, focusing on what we can do and how we behave, instead of worrying too much about what we cannot control. It doesn't mean giving up, but it's a way to live the present moment actively, making choices that are in line with what we really care about and with our goals. To adopt this mindset, the first step is to practice distancing, the art of taking a step back to observe your experiences from a broader perspective. This mental space proves to be a valuable tool for moderating emotions and making decisions that nurture our long-term well-being. Learning to see the big picture allows us to understand that current challenges are just pieces of a larger, more dynamic puzzle. As you progress along this path, introduce targeted practices into your everyday life. When stress knocks on your door, stop for a moment and ask yourself, can I control this? If the answer is no, direct your attention towards what you can actually influence, such as the way you see things or the steps to take next. If, however, it is something you can control, act with determination to trigger a positive change. The resulting fruits are of inestimable value. A life lived with greater serenity, joy, and a profound sense of achievement. A fundamental key to lightening the path of life is learning to cultivate non-judgmental thinking. This means embracing your thoughts and emotions as they arise, without rushing to categorize them as good or bad. It is an exercise in pure observation, where every thought or feeling is simply a guest passing through the great hotel of our consciousness. Through adopting this practice, we create a space of self-compassion a safe haven where we can heal our wounds without the fear of being judged. This not only facilitates a deeper healing process, but also opens the door to a greater understanding of ourselves, leading us towards a life lived with greater authenticity and fullness. Every step we take in this direction makes us more aware, better equipped to face the challenges that life puts before us with grace and courage. Transformation begins with a small step that of accepting every part of you without judgment. Let yourself be guided by love and compassion and see how many doors will open on your path. Stop criticizing yourself and learn to be forgiving. That cursed voice, subtle but persistent, resonates with our deepest insecurities, coloring our days gray. It is the murmur that constantly questions us, that pushes us to doubt our abilities and our values. Personal growth finds its essence in quieting this voice, opening the heart to self-compassion, and walking the path of excellence in an indulgent and humane way. This path invites us to detach ourselves from unattainable perfectionism, a source of frustration and dissatisfaction, and instead embark on a pursuit of excellence that is kind and constructive. Imagine finding yourself faced with two paths, one marked by the heavy imprints of your inner criticisms, which leads towards a future limited by your own fears. The other, less trampled and illuminated by a warm light, 
encourages you to move confidently toward a life in which you are your own best advocate, not your harshest judge. This is the path that leads from perfectionism to the pursuit of achievable excellence, a journey that requires a change not only in thinking, but also in the way we treat ourselves. The first step in this direction is to recognize and accept the presence of the inner critic. It's that voice that, after a small mistake, whispers you are not enough or compares you unfavorably to others. This voice was formed through past experiences, social pressures, and the false belief that self-criticism can be a motivational boost. It has been shown that this negative internal dialogue tends more to generate shame and a sense of inadequacy than to encourage personal improvement. The real challenge is therefore to modify this internal dialogue, transforming it from a critical monologue to a constructive dialogue based on self-compassion. This path allows us to graciously accept our limitations, celebrate our successes, whether large or small, and treat ourselves with the empathy and attention we would reserve for a dear friend. To face your inner critic, the first step is to cultivate deep awareness. When you find yourself on the verge of negative self-talk, take a moment to pause. Ask yourself, what is the trigger for this reaction? Why do I react like this? What am I really afraid of? Understanding the origin of these thoughts allows you to reduce their impact. It is a process of accepting your fears and vulnerabilities not as signs of weakness, but as intrinsic parts of your human essence, worthy of compassion. The next step is to divert your attention from criticism to strength. Focus on your goals, however modest they may be, and let them demonstrate your worth. This involves reconceiving success not as the elimination of failure, but as the recognition of effort and resilience. Celebrate your progress and build your self-esteem on it. Then practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding you would treat a close friend. When faced with setbacks, remember that the goal is not perfection, but growth. Allow yourself to make mistakes and learn from your mistakes. This benevolent approach paves the way for excellence, a goal that does not aim for perfection, but for the commitment to give the best of yourself. Take the example of Emma, who found speaking in public difficult. The voice of his inner critic was deafening, filling his mind with doubt before every speech. But Emma chose to challenge this voice. He recognized his fear of judgment and deliberately focused on his strengths, his ability to connect with the audience and his passion for the subject matter. He practiced self-compassion, accepting that anxiety was part of the process. Over time, Emma gained confidence and improved her speaking skills. She wasn't perfect, but she was her best virgin, and that's what made the difference. In summary, letting go of the inner critic means embracing the imperfect journey of self-improvement. It means replacing the severity of self-criticism with the warmth of self-compassion. It means recognizing that excellence is not about being superior to others, but about surpassing yourself day after day. So breathe deeply, take that first step, and begin your journey to excellence. Before we dive into the last part of this video, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. If this video has inspired you or given you food for thought, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and activate the bell so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you. Transform your fear into growth. As we continue our exploration of personal transformation, we delve into the profound impact of cultivating a growth mindset and mental reconditioning. It's a concept that goes beyond mere positive thinking. It's about radically altering the way we perceive our capabilities and potential. With a growth mindset, we see ourselves not as static entities, but as individuals capable of evolution and improvement through dedication and hard work. After all, embracing change isn't just about adapting to new circumstances, it's about actively seeking growth opportunities. It's about understanding that failures are not failures, but rather pointers on the path to success. When we encounter obstacles, a growth mindset pushes us to ask ourselves, what can I learn from this? Rather than why did this happen to me? This shift in perspective is empowering. It turns victims into winners, passivity into action. Take another story, that of Anna, 
a violinist who, after a disappointing audition, could have succumbed to self-doubt. Instead, he chose to look at the experience as a learning opportunity. She sought feedback, dedicated herself to rigorous practice, and embraced the challenge of improvement. His growth mindset turned a moment of potential defeat into a stepping stone to mastery of his craft. Truly letting go means trusting the journey of self-improvement. It's about loosening the grip of past mistakes and the fear of future missteps. It's about understanding that growth is an ongoing process and that every day presents a new opportunity to learn and improve. Letting go means recognizing that the goal is not perfection, but rather an evolutionary process. So how do we apply this to our lives? Start by dedicating time to reflection every day. Ask yourself, what did I learn today? And how can I apply this knowledge in the future? This simple practice can solidify a growth mindset, making it a natural part of your thinking process. Another step is to challenge yourself regularly. Take on tasks that push you beyond your comfort zone, where learning is inevitable. Whether it's a new language, a complex project, or a fitness goal, these challenges will strengthen your confidence in your ability to grow and adapt. Ultimately, the transformative power of a growth mindset lies in its ability to transform the fear of letting go into the freedom to grow. By adopting this mindset, we open ourselves to a world of possibilities. Remember, the only real limit to the fulfillment of tomorrow will be today's doubts. Let's put them aside and step into a brighter, more capable future. Too often we find ourselves stuck in a cycle of self-criticism, following a rhythm that seems too familiar of doubts and fears that tells us we are never quite right with the world around us. Now imagine being able to stop listening to those exhausting phrases. What if we could take a moment to understand that these negative thoughts are not who we really are, but just something we can observe and then let go? View negative self-talk as a character in a play, one inserted unintentionally into the script of your life. This character does not represent your true self, but is rather a mind-forged entity, shaped by past experiences and social pressures. By distancing yourself from this figure, you gain the ability to rewrite your story, to shape it into a way of speaking to yourself that lifts you up and supports you. The first step on this path is to admit that these negative scripts are not woven into the essence of your being. They are external elements which can be modified at will. True magic is revealed in realizing that you are the architect of your life, equipped with the creative freedom to define who you are in harmony with your ambitions and principles. To embark on this transformation, start observing your thoughts as if they were the lines of an actor on stage. When you notice the dialogue becoming tinged with negativity, ask yourself, is this the way I want to see myself? If the answer is no, it's time to introduce a new protagonist one who speaks with gentleness, encouragement, and compassion. By detaching yourself from negative spirals, you will find that you can interact with your thoughts in a more detached and objective way. This distancing gives you space to question the authenticity of self-criticism and to explore new perspectives. It's like taking control of your own life, directing the show towards a brighter and more positive ending. Another example to inspire is the story of Lucas, a talented painter who constantly fought against his inner critic. Every movement of his brush was followed by a wave of self-doubt until he decided to externalize these thoughts. He named his critic the doubter and began treating him as an entity in his own right. Whenever the doubter made himself heard, Lucas acknowledged his existence, but chose not to interact. Instead, he focused on the voice of the creator within himself that part that spurred creativity and pleasure in his work. In time, the creator became the protagonist of his own story, and his art flourished. By externalizing your negative self-talk, you not only transform your internal monologue, but you also give yourself permission to act with awareness. You can choose to engage with thoughts that nourish your well-being, while rejecting those that don't. This doesn't mean ignoring your emotions or challenges, but addressing them with a constructive attitude that promotes growth and self-acceptance. So how to apply this concept in practice? 
Identify times when negative self-talk emerges, perhaps during a work challenge or when faced with a personal setback. Recognize these thoughts and consciously shift your attention to an internal dialogue that promotes your evolution. Remind yourself of your strengths, past successes, and lessons learned. Create a positive affirmation that speaks directly to you. Repeat it daily so that it becomes an integral part of your life script. For example, I am capable and I never give up. I face every day with courage and optimism. Let this affirmation become your mantra, a reminder of the character you have chosen to be. Transforming your self-perception through externalization is recognizing that you have control over the narrative of your life. Remember, you are the author of your existence, and with every word you write, you have the opportunity to shape a story of success and fulfillment. Start your journey of change with these eight practical exercises. 1. Identify what you can't control every day. Take a moment to reflect on situations or emotions you've experienced. Write down on a piece of paper what is beyond your control and what you can act on instead. This will help you focus on your true speaking skills and let go of the rest. 2. Practice self-distancing. When faced with a difficult situation, take a step back emotionally. Imagine looking down at yourself as if you were a director watching an actor. This will help you see things with more objectivity and less emotion, increasing your resilience. 3. Talk to your inner critic. Write a letter to your inner critic. Acknowledge his intentions, often protective, but also explain how some of his criticisms are excessive and not constructive. Then write a response from your compassionate and encouraging self, promoting more positive self-talk. 4. Set goals based on excellence, not perfection. Set realistic goals for yourself. Focus on progress, not perfection. 5. Celebrate every small step forward, recognizing that every effort is part of your path to success. 6. Turn obstacles into lessons. Whenever you encounter an obstacle, write down what you can learn from it. This exercise helps you develop a growth mindset seeing every challenge as an opportunity to learn and improve. 7. Change your self-talk with positive affirmations. Create a list of positive affirmations that resonate with you and your aspirations. Repeat them every morning or in moments of doubt to rewrite your internal dialogue and strengthen a positive and capable view of yourself. 8. A daily reflection. At the end of each day, take a moment to reflect on what you learned how you face challenges, and what you can improve. Apply these principles consistently every day, and you will consolidate an attitude of continuous growth, freeing yourself from the burdens that are crushing you today. Well, we have reached the end. Thank you for your support and attention. Until next time.